What do we have here, Alex? A very special engine from London. It's a Merriweather, self-contained firefighting pump, um, made mostly for use on estates where there'd be a pond and if you had a uh, problem, you would just go out with this with a couple guys, tilt it up, pull it to where it was going with its wheels as fast as you could, get it steamed up and get it fighting a fire. There's a heck of an engine on the back of this thing with, a, with a, uh, an engine driven feed water pump on the side, the firefighting pump in the middle and it moves water like you'd never, never believe. And uh, the boiler is a marvelous thing. The wet leg of the vertical fire tube is conical and it bolts onto the boiler. So if you want to rebuild the boiler, just remove the bolts here and there and the whole thing separates in half. It's got a copper firebox, copper stays and copper flues and it's just the bee's knees as far as I'm concerned. Every boiler should be built this way. Um, Right now we're making gaskets for these BSPP fittings. The Brits like fittings where instead of a tapered thread, there's a straight thread which can go in and out as much as you want and then the seal is made with a gasket on this flat face against another flat face. So thread timing where the fittings face each other the right way is, uh, you know, you can get fancy with it by making gaskets of different thicknesses. Um, we've got a lot of plumbing to do on this thing. We've got a Gresham injector there little square thing and I want to get the engine driven pump piped up uh, which right now has nothing connecting to it at all. It seems to be almost a, a runny gag now with, with me. Whenever I find a steam engine, uh, especially a nice one with an engine driven pump, um, the plumbing doesn't ever exist. I, I don't know why this continues to happen. And so we'll be running it today. Yeah, yeah we're going to run it on gauge cocks because the glass we're still waiting for the glass because apparently no one in the entire area has half inch OD sight glass, which is really suspicious. Hmm. But American stuff uses five eighths and three quarters now mostly. So I guess it's just one of those things. Uh, you know, we'll have to get it from McMaster. But it just goes to show you now, you can't get anything anymore locally. You have to send away for it. We're, we kind of live in a post-apocalyptic world where anything that isn't completely vanilla is not available on shelves. Even And this is an industrial area. You know, up in New England where it's all these stupid home improvement stores and they call them hardware stores is one thing. But this is New Orleans and there's, and there's huge industrial outlets and, and shipyards and things everywhere you look. So I would have thought someone would have had something on a shelf. But no. Nope. We're... Uh, those days they, are done. They never have what you're looking for. Those days are done, and it's very sad because it kind of means, you know, it's, it's just another sign of the end of the civilized world, you know? Yeah. Really upsetting. So there's a nice, neat gasket. We ID punched it, OD punched it, and made a ring. Simple. I'm going to have to make several more of them, but there it is. Even though we're not using the glass, of course, we have to... We have to um, fit the fittings and seal them up properly, make sure those faces are nice and clean. And uh, I used a squishy gasket on purpose so that thread timing will be easier. You know, we'll have to work on that. Maybe get one about half that thickness, maybe. Hold on. But yeah, running with no glass, be running. A lot of people are scared to do that, but the thing I tell people is, uh, if you trust the sight glass more than you trust Tricox, you have no business running any sort of steam engine at all because Tricox are the sure measurement. Yeah, this will work. Tricox are a measurement that never fails you. And some people go, oh, well, they're hard to read because the steam one looks just like the water one. It's crap. Absolute baloney, as a certain person once said. You know, when the water comes out, yes, it flashes to steam, but the, it, the difference is very easy to identify if you have any kind of feel for anything. And really, the only time it becomes impossible to differentiate between the two is when you get above uh, 400 PSI or so, which we're not doing today. Um, but running without a sight glass, that's the thing I was going to talk about. You know, we'll talk about this more when we run it, but sure. in the 1850s, the Iron Dukes, on the GWR broad gauge, those big mainline express engines, they had no blower, no sight glass, and no pressure gauge. The uh, drivers and firemen would sense the pressure by putting their hand on the lever of the salter safety valve and just giving 
light pushes. And if you felt it squishy, you didn't have enough steam pressure. If you felt it hard, you, uh, you did. That was your gauge. Small side T output or large side? Uh, which one, Alex? Left side or right side? Output. That is not At the beginnings of a fire. <clears throat> Once we get the chimney hot, it will really start to pull. Still waiting on a gauge, so we're running on tricocks today, like 1850. Right. Okay, good, good, good. These are nice and smooth. These were all jammed up before I adjusted everything. That's nice. Water in there, it's going to even out a lot. Okay, that should be good for now. Got a little bit. Oh, good. See, that pump there is water lubricated, so I just wanted to get the engine hot, but now that we've done that and you see it runs, we're going to stop it until we get that water hose done and take I knew it would sound nice. Yeah, beautiful sound. Ain't got no fucking room. There it is. You know what I love? What do you love? You get these videos where everyone's either talking about how they were traumatized when a safety valve went off right next to them, or, or they climb up on top of an engine and they're terrified of it happening. It's like, it's a fucking safety valve. Who cares? Prime, 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 yeah. Very good. It's feeding. 
Safety valve comes down, it's feeding. Yes, sir, re Bob. There's the injector at work. Perfect. single act in here for some reason. No, it's not surging. Bang, no, it should be should be even oh, speed. Dope, dope. Should right. be even speed both ways. Side of. Today on Alex Carnes loses his fingers. Eh, I got ten of them. There we go. See it rotating? I don't know if you can. Uh, just a little bit. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Very good. Got some sparks flying. And yeah. Well, all the logs I put in there have definitely should have caught now. Now we're going to have... There ought to be a law. A law? There ought to be a law that mandates steam at night, every night. Yes, absolutely. Wonderful. All right. got some on the bottom cock. We're still at 40 pounds, so... Yeah, we gotta get it up. Yeah. Alright, it's nighttime. Yes, it is, and more importantly, we now are on an anthracite fire. Oh, uh, delicious. A very nice anthracite fire. Yes. I don't even like anthracite. Not American anthracite, anyway. But we're still climbing. Before we take off, we're going to make ads, because what we're going to do now, Mr. Ellsworth is back, he likes me to see his book, yes. he says, don't do that recirculating stuff, we're going to put a firefighting monitor on the end of this hose and blast it over the building, so, yeah. 
just a regular firefighting hose. It. Oh, wonderful. We're gonna have to start poking down to keep that fire breathing. Anthracite's tricky. This is all anthracite. It's not a mix, so does not like to be touched or stirred, and it certainly does not like the fire door open like it is right now. And we're going to have to poke down through it. That's the trick of an anthracite bed. You just take the poker and you poke down like this so it can continue breathing because that fly ash will really destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> See those? Uh, coal. See these boxes right here? Uh huh. This is regular coal. That is a box underneath? Yeah, this is the answer. Okay. Okay, are we ready for engine start? Hey, y'all, watch the level on the tank because we have our feet water pulling from the tank. I understand. Okay, just a second. I'm just gonna give us another shot of this first, so we got some insurance. It'll climb when we get the engine going. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the engine crank and make another ad, and then give them give them all the stuff. Right now, I'm just getting our. Yeah, okay. yep, we got water. Okay. All right. Right in the corner there. Right. Ready? Ready? Cover your ears, Alex. Ha, ha, ha. 